Hello everyone, Manithrall here, and welcome to the weekly update video. Now this week is a reminder and a patch news week, so that is all this week really is, sadly to say for some people. However, patch notes can be pretty nice. Okay, so for a one of the reminders, there is a live stream tomorrow, November 5th at 5pm GMT, which is to discuss the MTX. So mods Osborne, Warden, and MIC will be on the couch discussing the plans of the future of MTX in RuneScape. So if we have any questions... Uh, they do say to use the Discord room, use the forums, and there is a dedicated Reddit thread. Or you can email Mod Warden directly at askmodwarden at jaggeds.com. And they say your opinion is important to us, especially when it comes to controversial topics like this one. So they want to hear our thoughts. Now keep in mind, <clears throat> this is not saying that MTX will definitely be completely gone. Um, they could surprise us. They could say, you know, MTX is going to be completely gone. Um, but what they have been doing little by little, even with the Treasure Hunter, is taking the current MTX system and making it mostly for cosmetics. And from the sounds of it, they are looking to turn it to primarily just that as cosmetics. Because it does create an unbalance to the system, and they know this, and to the economy. So they need to... And they know a lot of us are pissed about the MTX. So they do know that, and they do know if they keep doing that, it's eventually going to hurt everything. <clears throat> uh, so the activity pets poll. Uh, keep in mind, before we can flex our creative muscle, we need to start... And design a pet, we need to know which pets they want, uh, well, that we want them to make first. Um, honestly, all these pets will probably come out in time, so do keep that in mind. It's just the point of when. Um, so if your pet that you really want to see out there doesn't win, keep in mind it will probably come. It just might not be tomorrow. As is, these won't be tomorrow either, but you get the point. Uh, so the Twitch Prime membership, uh, don't forget, from November 5th to December 10th, you can get 14 days of free membership when you subscribe with Twitch Prime. <clears throat> if you have your account linked. Remember, you got to link it if you want it. Uh, there is patch notes. We will get to that here shortly. The live streams this week is for Land Out of Time again which is a guaranteed 1-2 to two Hunter Marks, 250 resources in a base camp resource, guaranteed drop from the basic drop table, which is the Prismatic Small and Medium Fallen Star, Prismatic Small and Medium Lamp, Spirit Ruby and Diamond Advanced Pole Score, Spring Silver Hawk Down, Medium and Small Dungeoneering Token Box, Uncut Dragonstone, Large, Medium, or Small Cash Bag. Your view counter goes up on Orb, a random skilling outfit piece if unowned, Either is Nature's Balance or Loot's Cape if unowned. And live streams this week, there is only two of them. Which Tuesday, November 5th is the one we discuss, Monetization Q&A. And Saturday, November 9th at 1200 UTC, uh, Thursday Duo featured stream. Uh, so it says, join them for a full day of adventure in Gilinor. Masses explore new content. Uh, for the first time, and challenges, Lootscape included. This featured stream is also an opportunity to grab some Lootscape. That's right, you can now receive in-game loot when you watch Lootscape Streamer. It works exactly the same way as our official streams. Just watch the RS Duo's uh, stream on their Twitch channel. That's important to remember. It has to be on their Twitch channel, and then it will be active, and you will be... You should get it the following day. So this is something they're new that they are trying. So do keep that in mind that there might be some issues to start it out. So up first, I'm going to do a reminder um, not only of Double XP Weekend on November 22nd, uh, but this time they've given it a little twist. They've extended it to design to be a lot more relaxing this time. Uh, it says this time you'll be you'll 
you're all going to be able to maximize every one of the precious double XP hours, but without worrying of cramming it into a single weekend. Instead, double X weekend extended will offer 36 hours of double XP goodness, but spread over the course of 10 days. That's an extra seven days. Wow. Uh, simply log in whenever you want between Friday, November 22nd, 12 game time, and Monday, December 2nd, 12 game time. As soon as you're in game, your XP timer will start ticking and you can keep track of how much double XP time you have left whenever you need to via the interface. This means you're absolutely free to stop for meals, hang out with friends, family, pet the dog, do karate, whatever you want. All without the fear of missing out on the XP. Alternatively, if you prefer... If you prefer, you're free to enjoy Double XP Weekend, just as you've always done. It's all up to you. Essentially, <clears throat> you will have 36 hours of Double XP. So you can use it over the course of all those days. It's just your login time will count towards those times. So you have that long total, which is absolutely phenomenal if you ask me. And it says, any unused double XP will, uh, time will be removed at the end of the event on December 2nd, 12 UTC. So that is absolutely fantastic. So people who have to work or busy schedules, you do have a chance to be able to enjoy your double XP as well. <clears throat> and now for the patch notes. Okay. With the festivities over, Gilmer's farmers have collected up all the pumpkins decorating the world trees. Metaphos typo has been spelled correctly now when returning portal to Metaphos VIP area. Emerald Lantern can no longer be equipped through the bank interface. Livid Farm Produce Points now shown correctly in the currency pouch implemented a fix to help ease frame rate drops if the buff bar incorrectly displays. Swapping overrides from Felix will now correctly clear body parts. Fixed an issue that showed the claim Felix screen multiple times during the catwalk promo. This no longer occurs. Localized treasure hunter ban will now appear on non-English speaking worlds. Uh, Acadia logs are now shown in the fire making milestones. Certain music tracks beginning with the now appear in their proper place within the music player. Right-clicking on the Dwarven Instinct Aura now says Deactivate instead of Remove. LOL's Tooltip now says Chosen Champion instead of Acting Champion on Round 2 in the Tournament Board. Added text detailing damage done, by, done in Big Game Hunter. Implemented a Fletch 3 option in the Big Game Hunter to create spears more efficiently. Glitchy quest in progress hint arrows have been removed from Let Them Eat Pie and Druidic Ritual. When you only have one spear and click on a trap, the Make X screen will no longer appear. Bladed Dive can now be used on frogs and it will instantly start to gather poison from them. Uh, there is now a confirmation message that will inform you of the logs, find spears, you will lose after you skin the dinosaur and leave. Having a helmet on on the helmet stand of Anachronia now grants extra Slayer experience as intended. Fixed typo dialogue with Zahur, Bob Barter, and Robert Dale. Hidden has been correctly spelled in the You Are It quest journal. Apostrophe has been added to the word I am Fixed an issue where the lower level players were crashing upon receiving large amounts of experience. Typo has been corrected and now displays who's in Charo's, uh, Charo's dialogue. Removed incorrect dialogue from Stronghold of Player Safety Guard. Uh, whilst using a small furnace in the tires camp, players are now approaching the furnace at the correct side in front of the opening instead of the wrong side. You are now... You will no longer uh, receive compacted resources when at the integrated base camp ca resource cap. When activating an enchanted gem to contact Turio or Spiria, he, she will now state that he, she is in Berthorpe, not Taverly. 
Troll Truckers, Shamans, and Brutes in Berthorpe Troll Cave now all give Golden Rocks. Added a mini slash world map icon in uh, to the Quebec Hunter area west of Berthorpe. You will now receive a clear message on how to uh, summon Penny once the pet is unlocked. <clears throat> During one of a kind, Mr. Mordot can no longer discuss events that have not happened yet. Fix an issue with Zap's skin texture in what lies below quest. Typo for vengeance has been fixed under the match information for the boss lol in the Dominion Tower. Tuska Gauntlets will now correctly steep the level in the hover tooltip. Fix a typo during dialogue with a Job Gobi lost in Nemi Forest. Corrected some grammar when adding notes to the Umbral Diplomacy lore book. Fix an issue with Stratasis uh, chathead animation during Wild Gothic Sleep's quest. Uh, players can no longer jump off the wrong side of the platform during Siriu battle. Players can now open scroll boxes while on Uncharted Islands. Expanded the area, which is considered the lobby in the Dole Arena for purposes of an easy clue scroll. <clears throat> Fix some dialogue during the Needle Skips quest. Destroying elite farming outfit pieces no longer describes all of them as master farmer pieces, despite not being so. The examined text of portable wells will no longer be cut off in the chat box. Fix the typo when w talking to Lenissa the spy during the Curse of Zerus mini quest. Saying goodbye to Gertrude inside New Varrock now correctly closes the chat. Players will no longer be able to access Edgeville Furnace by using items with the furnace on the free-to-play world. Attempting to use item on the sink in Kildegrim Warhammer Shop opened a dialogue where the NPC's name was displayed as Dwarf City Shop Warhammer rather than Vigor. Uh, fix an issue causing Wilderness Slayer buffs to be given to players outside of the Wilderness. Fix a typo in Preserved Meat Examine Text. Original Slayer Helmet now correctly give the an, any accuracy bonus to melee. Fix an issue with the Raxor Puzzle Toggle OP. Uh, Sears Village Task Diary Reward NPCs will now correctly state the amount of coal that Stanker stores relative to each tier of reward. 252, 280, and then 308. Which is very pointless now. Lessen the harshness of the warp terror bird and tortoise in the poison waste dungeon, as well as tone down the chime sound a little. A typo in Merlin's crystal quest required items section has been fixed. The option to destroy entire skilling outfit after destroying a single piece has been added to artisan's outfit, the blacksmith outfit, the botanist outfit, the soy chef outfit, and the constructor's outfit. Smithing Skill Cape Perk now has correct description in Smithing Skill Guide. Concentrated Coal is now updated and displayed under level 70 in the Mining Skill Guide. A typo in the Death Plateau quest information describing a level 4 troll, which has in fact level 2, has been fixed. Added messaging for attempting to revive dead herbs that were planted before mirac Miraculous Treatment Invention existed. These herbs cannot be revived and must be discarded. A typo in Yakamaru's dialogue has been fixed. It is no longer possible to obtain the duplicate Thinker outfit pieces from Motherlode Mall. All elf style outfits should now be able to be placed in the fancy dress box in the player owned house. Updated the message when playing for four hours. Allowed players to escape from legacy mode during Birthorp tutorial. That is it for today's update and patch notes, so thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, later guys.